Hello, my name's Sham, like Sham, like no Shamu. Oh, you always have a lot. Uh, start again. Oh, you always have a lot. My name's Sham, like Sham, like no Shamu. And this is uh, Sham Talk. I'm recording from Green Square in Komae, Tokyo. Green Square is an Eikaiwa cafe where you can sit back, relax, learn English, prepare for exams, do your thing uh, in a relaxing environment. And you can stay motivated. Yes, motivation. Yes. Um, in this episode of Sham Talk, I'm going to be wearing three outfits. Here's the first one. Um, this is a shirt from uh, Percival. Basically, yeah, it's from Percival. It's a British company. Uh, I think they're based in London. And um, I found out about them because a celebrity, Chris Evans, was wearing one of their shirts. And someone's at the door. Hold on. Adorable car. No. Um, Chris Evans was wearing this at one of the, was not this, but wearing a Percival shirt at a, a premiere for Lightyear, the um, Toy Story spin-off movie. And I thought it looked pretty good. So I went on their website and I had a look at some other clothes they had and I quite liked some of their clothes. I mean, of course I love green, green's my favorite color. Um, and so I bought this. It's pretty good it's really really good because um it's knitted it, it seems very very high quality um and it looks very very different i do feel very different when i wear it it looks really really cool um and the other thing that i really like about it is that it's all press studs it's all so if i'm feeling a bit saucy a bit sexy you could just uh, like that. That was the first. This is the second. So this is a second Percival shirt. Again, it's knitted. Um, and it was, it feels very, very nice. It feels very, very, I feel more confident wearing this. Um, and it, this also feels very, very high quality. Now, they all have to be hand washed. I don't really pay attention to what you're telling me to do. You don't tell me how to wash my clothes, Percival. You don't tell me how to live my life. Um, they should be hand washed. I don't do that. I put them in the washing machine. But I try as hard as I can not to dry them in the washing machine. Yeah, so I don't wash, dry them in the washing machine. Um, yeah, there is, there is one thing which I really don't like about them. Um, the good thing, for, well, let me go through some good things actually, like the uh, website. When you go to the website, they do have a really, really nice selection. Um, they have a diverse like range of models. They have like, a, they, they consider diversity in their models, uh, which is really, I think is really cool. I think that's really nice. So it's very inclusive. Lots of different people can imagine themselves wearing this product um and like i said it does feel like a very very good quality product uh when you go to the website if you are unsure about your size they have this i don't know they have this kind of space where you fill out your height your weight and your age i think and then they will suggest the best size for you um, it's very strange. Not all of them suggest the same size. And I think it's because some of their items run tighter or smaller than other products. <sighs> this is the third one. Uh, first, second, third. So this is the third one which I bought now. A couple things which I don't like about these uh, products from Percival. Yes, they're very, very good quality. Um, and I think they come in like recycled packaging. Fantastic. 
the thing which I don't like about them, one, it's expensive, yeah? I mean, this, the, all three of these shirts I bought were on sale. Um, and even on sale, they run me 20,000 yen each. Niman and each. Whoa! I don't usually buy expensive clothes, but for some reason I was feeling a little bit, eh, you know what? It was one of those midnight browsing shops. I was like in bed at midnight and just like, oh yeah, let me just buy this thing. Oh, there's another one. Let me buy more. I have no money. Yay. But I do really like how they fit and I like how they look. Um, this one, I have a confession. I've got another confession to make. I've got a confession. Um, this was dried in the washing machine by accident. I was angry when it happened, but it seems to be all right. I'm not going to dry it in the washing machine again, but it seems to be fine. Thank God. The other thing, for that price point, and keeping in mind this was on sale and it was 20,000 yen, the normal price is like 30,000 yen or 27,000 yen, something like that. Keeping that in mind, this was made, these products were made in China. Now, there, there, there isn't anything inherently wrong in manufacturing something in China. I mean, I love Chinese people like I love everyone. I think like there's nothing inherently wrong with anyone. But for a, a company that is charging so much money, when you look at the label and says it's see that it's made in China, it kind of makes me think, like why did I buy this product? Why did I why did I spend so much money on this product? Why is it so expensive if it's not made in the UK or if it's not made in the USA? I understand when things are made in the UK and the USA, they're not higher or lower quality than Chinese products per se, but you know that the practices, the employment practices are good. You know that they are observing the workers' basic human rights, or you you, you hope that they are. Um, can't speak for all American uh, companies, <coughs> Amazon. Um, because some American company, <coughs> Amazon, they don't treat their workers with enough dignity or <coughs> Amazon uh, respect. And, I mean, there's a lot of uh, news reports about a particular online company, um, Amazon, um, who do this. So, that, those are the two things I don't like. That being said, I do think the quality is very, very good. Um, and I really, really like these products. So yeah, head over to the Percival website. The brand's name is Percival. <sighs> P-E-R-C-I-V-A-L. Um, Percival, yeah. So if you want to talk about fashion, Huel again. Uh, if you want to talk about fashion or politics or business, if you want to talk about anything in, while improving your English, your grammar, your vocabulary, please come down to Green Square and sign up for your Murio Taiken lesson, your demo lesson uh, on our website. Uh, as usual, you can get a full transcript of this lesson, of this conversation on our website, www.greensquare.jp uh, That's www.greensquare.jp Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, frogs. It's raining cats and dogs at the moment. Um, see you next time.